10 Key Differences Between Syncope and Seizures Duration of Loss of Consciousness Syncope typically results in a brief loss of consciousness, lasting only a few seconds. Patients recover quickly and fully. In contrast, seizures can cause a loss of consciousness that lasts several minutes. After a seizure, individuals may experience a postictal state characterized by confusion, fatigue, or other neurological deficits. Movements during the episode. During syncope, patients may exhibit brief, involuntary movements, but these are not as pronounced as the significant convulsions seen in seizures. Seizures are characterized by more dramatic motor activity, including jerking, shaking, or other abnormal movements. Preceding symptoms. Before a syncopal episode, individuals may experience symptoms like lightheadedness, nausea, or palpitations. Seizures may be preceded by auras, which are sensory disturbances or unusual emotions that warn of an impending seizure. Post-episode behavior. Following a syncopal episode, patients usually regain consciousness rapidly and return to their baseline mental state without confusion. After a seizure, recovery can be more prolonged, with patients often experiencing confusion, fatigue, or other neurological impairments. Tongue biting. Tongue biting is less common in syncope. If it does occur, it is typically a midline bite. In contrast, seizures are more frequently associated with lateral tongue biting, resulting from the forceful jaw movements during a convulsive episode. Electroencephalogram findings. An electroencephalogram, a test that measures brain electrical activity, is typically normal during a syncopal episode. In contrast, an electroencephalogram recorded during a seizure may show abnormal brain activity, such as spikes or sharp waves, which are indicative of epileptic activity. Associated Symptoms and Signs Syncope may be accompanied by symptoms like pallor, sweating, and signs of poor perfusion, suggesting decreased blood flow to the brain. Seizures can involve autonomic symptoms, such as excessive salivation, urination, or defecation, which occur during the episode due to altered brain function. History of episodes Patients with syncope typically report fewer episodes of loss of consciousness compared to those with seizures. Individuals with seizures often have a history of recurrent episodes, which may or may not be associated with identifiable triggers. Triggers for events. Syncope is often triggered by specific situations, such as prolonged standing, exposure to heat, or emotional stress. Seizure triggers can be more varied and may include factors like sleep deprivation, flashing lights, or stress. Physical examination findings. A physical examination of a patient with syncope may reveal signs consistent with cardiovascular issues, such as bradycardia or hypotension. In contrast, a neurological examination of a patient with seizures may identify focal neurological deficits or signs of underlying neurological conditions. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.